Hey everybody and welcome back to Investment Honey where we talk about various crypto projects. Before we begin, I want to let you know that I'm not your financial advisor. I do not provide financial advice on the channel and I don't even encourage you to invest, but what I am going to do is share with you my own personal opinion and views on the projects discussed on the channel. So with that said, we're looking at Crypto's Tribe. Um, I think this is an IDO project, but what is interesting is that they do have a pink sale pre-sale, so I could be wrong. Um, but either way, uh, they do have a pink sale pre-sale. So it is whitelisted, but um, unlike IDOs, IDOs typically require launchpad tokens, and this one would not, based on the fact that it is um, a pink sale pre-sale. But sometimes when projects have pink sale pre-sales, they'll still call themselves, you know, having an IDO. So just be aware of that. So, but this is not going to require, uh, based on the pink sale pre-sale, a launchpad, you know, token. Um, before we get into the pink sale pre-sale, I do want to highlight uh, that again. This is a whitelisted only pre-sale. Um, they have had an audit. The audit did pass with low severity issues. Um, they haven't had any AMAs, um, and. What I do have listed as a red flag here, according to my notes, is that the team is not doxxed or KYC'd. So essentially, the team is anonymous. So huge risk, you know, there in terms of participating on this project, just because you don't know anything about the team. So, I mean, team could, you know, um, let's say, and not necessarily with this project, but let's just talk in general, because I don't want to create any FUD or anything, you know, but, you know, if a team is, is anonymous and something happens, you know, with the project, or, you know, shenanigans, you know, all the kind of stuff that happens in crypto, um, there's no recourse, because, again, you don't know anything about the team, the team hasn't kyc so identities are not revealed, nothing. So I tend to, you know, view projects that have no KYC and no doxing as huge, hugely, you know, I don't even know if that's a word, but extreme risk, you know, with those kind of projects. To me, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter, you know, if the team, you know, if the project launches and they, and they still do some X's, at the end of the day, you know, that in terms of my own risk tolerance, personally, um, I'm not going to go ahead and engage with a project that doesn't have a KYC or doxing. They got to have one or the other for me, personally. So, um, I want to go ahead and put that out there. Now, Speaking of Crypto's Tribe pre-sale, again, this is whitelist only. It got just over two days before it goes live. Um, they do have an audit. I did go ahead and state that the audit you know, was done and had low severity issues. I do like the fact that there is a minimum buy of 0.1 and a max of 1.8. It is small contributions, in my opinion. Um, they've got a hard cap of 800 BNB, soft cap 400 BNB. Uh, initial market cap estimates just over a million um, and then we see that we've got a liquidity lock of time of 1826 days now what i don't like as well in regards to this token is that they've got a huge amount of unlocked tokens so you don't have any locked tokens you know so um why is all of this unlocked you know so so yeah that also becomes another uh, red flag for me as well now if the team you know a lot of times you have all those tokens unlocked and, you know, you go in and the team tells you, you know, here's the reason why the tokens are unlocked. And then you got to go ahead and navigate, you know, what you believe and what you don't believe, you know. So, um, but yeah, I don't know why all those tokens are unlocked. And I can't tell you if the team has had any prior projects, um, you know, so just the unknowns uh, lead to additional red flags for me uh, concerning this particular project. So, and that's just, you know, for me personally, I can't speak for you or anybody else, but for me, uh, that's the lens through which I'm looking at things through. Um, I like to see tokens locked up, not unlocked. Um, so we've got a get book, basically white paper. So a lot of different things to engage with here in regards to the white paper. And um, we can see we got a play now button, a buy CSTC, which is obviously the ticker. In the communities, so we've got a number of different communities here YouTube, Telegram, and Twitter. Uh, let's see here. You can earn while playing. So Crypto's Tribe is the most complete 3D universe, or good grief, not universe, <laughs> metaverse game on the VSC. So summon your heroes and take them to the biggest arena to fight other epic monsters and get rewards. Staking and staking, this innovative mechanism allows Crypto's Tribe NFT holders to. 
uh, earn substantial passive income simply by putting NFTs into their wallets. This would be fun, sustainable, and profitable game. They could do something in terms of editing, editing this area here. Um, so you see some of the characters, you know, Barbarian. Uh, we got Templars. We got the Demon Hunter, uh, the Great Swordsman, and Samurai. So uh, I do like, you know, the NFTs personally, the ecosystem. So uh, we see Master Battle, Pledge Mining, and the Hero Arena. So we see here what the roadmap looks like. We got three different phases. Um, and we see game concept and design, website and social media publishing, the pre-sale, whitelist, uh, whitelist open. I don't know why they're seeing whitelist as well. Yeah, because you had time to go and get on the whitelist. Here are NFT sales, here are competition, NFT market transactions, CG and CMC listed. So I don't know um, if they are listed, if they've got like a pre-listing page, you know, for CG or CMC. Typically, we don't see that with CoinGecko, but we do oftentimes see that with CMC. Uh, if a lot of times when pages are pre-listed, they'll go ahead and they'll let you know. I haven't seen something in regards to that. Uh, phase two, publicity of major marketing platforms, uh, reward and airdrop, release of mobile games and in-game, building a metaverse ecology, deploy heroes to earn revenue and hero attachment ranking. Uh, again, as we talk about, you know, with most roadmaps, um, they don't really indicate, you know, a lot of them don't. Uh, what's been completed, what's been done, you know, strike throughs, you know, check marks, you know, something to indicate, you know, hey, we've already done all this. We don't see any of that here. So I'd like to see that, you know, concerning the roadmap. Upgrade gameplay, expansion team, uh, more game features, new equipment scene, new equipment scene, cooperation and promotion. So, you know, I'd like more details. You know, I feel like some of this is just very general information. It'd be helpful to get a bit more details in regards to the roadmap. I, at the end of the day, I guess my, my feedback here would be I'd like to see an update you know, to this roadmap uh, in terms of the information and to signals in terms of what's completed, pending, and ongoing. Uh, and whether they're going to have an update you know, to this roadmap. You know, we don't even know how far this roadmap goes out to. Is it going to end in 2022? Is it going to go into 2023? We have no idea. Uh, fear token. Uh, so we see the, uh, the supply. Um, 0% on the buys, 2% on the sells, so low sell. However, 0% buys, I think, in my personal opinion, that invites, you know, a lot more bots into your token project, but, you know, that's just my, my experience. So we see number of NFTs, uh, and then we get some information, you know, here, cycle destruction, destruction, not really sure what this means. Partners, you know, what they're stating here. Um, so, yeah, and that takes us to the end of the page. So, hold on here. We see here that they got, yeah, I didn't think so. Okay, so, um, I'd seen an audit, but when you see Certic here, you know, sometimes they'll go ahead and they'll give you like a link, you know, to the Certic onboarding. And I hadn't checked this before, so I just wanted to make sure that this is just simply a link to Certic. So, uh, I don't know why they're saying that Certic is a partner, because I haven't seen or heard anything in regards to Certic, you know, in any, in any association in any way with this project, you know, so, but if I'm wrong, you know, somebody from the team sees this video, they can always go and let me know what the link is between them and Certic. All right, so with that said, I don't have anything else to add on this, um, giving you my thoughts and feedback in regards to this project and what I think. So I'm uh, in pre sales coming up in just over two days, and I stated what my flags are, you know, there as well. So, all right, guys, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you guys continuing to support the channel, and uh, I'll you know, be sure to go ahead and check out the links in the description. Um, you know, if you're not yet subscribed, please subscribe. You know, subscribing, liking, and commenting, all those things, you know, help us with the YouTube algorithm and uh, helping YouTube to, to, to be a little kinder to us in terms of uh, additional exposure. So, all right, guys, I can't grow without you. And thank you so much for watching. You guys enjoy the day.